I'll tell you fucking everything you want to know. I, I lied about the drugs. I'm totally full of shit. There was tons of fucking drugs. There was, there was marijuana. There was cocaine. There was H. There was shrooms. There was a... Telawanda, my desk is 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 absolutely like a cyclone hitter. Do you know where that FedEx is with the where the tape came from? Fucking mattress filled with weed. It was crazy. If I had to make a million dollar bet, my bet would come down. This is fake found footage. There was, there was girls kissing girls, guys kissing guys kissing girls, um, blowjobs, sodomy, a girl giving a donkey a lap dance. Um, there was stripper poles. Brought in the uh, girls dancing. And ripping off each other's clothes and rubbing each other down with food of like whipped cream and um, like uh, chocolate sauce and I think even tartar sauce and you know condiments that aren't even sexy like mustards and and pickle whip. Uh, look, I, I don't know. You guys got like these European directors j jumping on this project, but they, you know they're making way too many of these goddamn trails, okay? And I mean they're just all over the damn place. And I don't want to spend my time critiquing these things. So just clean up this shit, all right? Give me a couple looks, all right? Just get it done. Talk about free fucking PR. We got Diane Sawyer doing a fucking lead store tonight at 6 o'clock on the news. That, that's something special. And what's with this fucking uh, song they want to put on about Diane Young? What the fuck's that? Looking for some trouble tonight. Take my hand, I'll show you the wild side. Looking for some trouble I got, I mean, I got all the class in the world, but that is in some bad fucking taste. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like we just got the uh, we got the the report about the fire, and it looks like it was awesome.
understood it myself you know this guy had the world at his feet but um something went wrong at that party because uh one of them survived but the other one could have survived but he threw himself off a building The problem I'm having here is that, you know, these kids uh, have become martyrs, okay? And, and, you know, we got families getting paid eight ways out of Sunday. But as any parent who's lost a child knows that that, 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 that has no compensation for such a loss. So we're looking at, to date, ready? <laughs> 19 lawsuits. We got 18 each individually from the families. And then we got one class action in the, in the federal jurisdiction, okay, in the Third Circuit. And, I mean, I'm going to be spending the rest of my year at fucking depositions for this shit. So, you know, I, 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 I need a lawyer that's going to help me fix this shit. First thing we got to do is try to figure out who ran this goddamn mansion for $22,000. Because that ain't ready money that, you know, these kids got on their student loans and credit cards, all right? So that's the first place we're looking for. I don't know why this FBI has been fucking it up since day one. But here's the deal. We have to look at everything, um, basically, you know, follow the money. Just like, you know, what is it, Woodward, Bernstein, Woodstein, Burn, whatever the hell their names were from, you know, the Nixon era. Follow the fucking money. And what we're doing is we're getting some forensic accounts down there to help you boys uh, with the FBI since you're such a bunch of fuck-ups. I got to do your job for you. I'm a fucking Hollywood agent without a high school diploma, and I got to figure this fucking thing out. But I got one thing. I got one piece of news for you, okay? I just heard through a friend of mine who's on deep, deep, deep cover. That's a triple deep cover. That, are you ready? You sitting down? I hope you're sitting down on that goddamn plane because uh, you're paying enough for all every gas every day, every, every hour you're flying that bullshit, flying in circles. But get this. I hear that they ain't dead, but they were, well, kidnapped, I heard. No, 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 stay with her so I can get, okay, actually, no, no, it's alright. And go. All right, I just heard from my, my, other, uh, my other source in the FBI, one a little bit more reliable than your fucked up ass, and it turns out that, you know, the paintings were perhaps a diversion. I mean, they, they were valuable, worth millions of dollars, but it turns out that there was a safe in the house that at certain times brought out and displayed some crown jewels from Sweden, Norway, or some, whatever the hell they got, white hair, blue eyes, and all that other shit. So these, these jewels, uh, if they were in fact kidnapped, or if that was the motivation, uh, then, you know, these kidnappers have already got their ransom. They've got a, a literal fucking king's ransom here, and then the crown jewels. Uh, but... You know, that's where I, I have to wonder, you know, where, ha, this is where it's getting confusing. I mean, where the art has not shown up on the radar of the underground art world. There hasn't been any sales of that. And uh, this is, I mean, damn, this jewelry, it ain't like you can go and do uh, sales in the mall and, uh, you know, or some pawn shop and, you know, get, you know, $500 for this shit. So, so this is a major fucking clue that, again, I think I should switch 
professions or maybe just do this on fucking Sundays as a hobby because uh, you guys have not gotten to the, the, the square two, that much less square one. So look, follow the fucking jewels, follow the fucking aunt, look who rented the goddamn house for the party, why did they invite those 19 kids, what's the relationship between them all, did you find out where those insurance payoffs went, did you talk to the families and find out if they were the ones that secured these policies, I mean, what are the fucking chances 19, 22 year olds have gone and had the wherewithal and the foresight and the maturity to go out and get life insurance policies at the fucking age of 22 for a million dollars each. Pay, what? what is it? The minimum, what, three months of a, of, of a premium so they can get maximum annuity benefits? I mean, I've, that, that, I, 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 I mean, I grew up in a town with 432 people and the sheriff who was as dumb as a fucking sea bass, three days old dead, could have figured out that just by the insurance angle, okay? So put your fucking heads together here. Something doesn't sound right. I know we got the bodies. I know we got the, 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 the dental records. I know, I know we, but we got something along the line here that ain't adding up, all right? So yeah, the ratings are, are, are going through the roof. They're becoming, you know, they might as well be, they're like Kardashians, you know, with a fucking education. You know, it's great, you know, hip, you know, hip, hip, fucking hooray. But it's becoming now an issue about my credibility because, uh, you know, people now don't know whether I'm selling uh, fiction or reality or uh, uh, they don't know whether it's documentary, uh, docudrama, narrative, mockumentary, quasi-cinema verite, French do wave, Lars von Trier... Holding this goddamn camera and doing, you know, one take and calling it a day and then going smoking some hash and amps. I don't know what the fuck's going on. All I know is that these jewels were stolen and now I'm hearing the kidnap. So go, you know, go fuck yourself and work with that. Any word on that filmmaker? The FBI director, I got senators, I got men who don't even have titles on my ass. So I really don't want to hear any kind of bullshit from you. Now I'm hearing bullshit from you. I, I don't care if you're a special agent. I don't care if you're uh, an ultimate agent. I don't care if you're a super agent. I don't care if you're a fucking superhero, okay? The problem is, is that the people that I work with in Hollywood pay a lot of money for the people that get elected, that you work for, to get elected. You understand where I'm going with this? You got 72 hours to come up with the lead and find those boys and girls because 
I'll tell you this right now. If you don't, not only are you going to get fired, but we're going to implicate you in their disappearance just for the, for the fun of it, all right? Now, I heard something that like they might be down in, um, well, the word is Columbia. I have no idea why, but Columbia. Check it out, okay? I think the lion pieces of shit, but I'm going to leave that, that part to you later, okay? Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm, you didn't hear from me that they fake the death. You didn't hear from me. Begin a degree program, actually complete it within one and a half times the allotted time. Those people who do graduate, two thirds of them take out student loans. Uh, Mr. Bryan, um, you, uh, you're, I assume you're on your, your jet. Um, I'm sorry to call you there. But, uh, I know it's uh, expensive to use that satellite phone, um, but I, I thought you'd be you should you should first hear from me because when you land, you're gonna certainly hear from reporters or, or the news or, or whomever handles your press or PR. And, and I'm, I, as I hear this, I'm not sure if it's great news or, or bad news or, or what kind of news. I'm just gonna tell you what kind of. What the, the, I'm just going to tell you the damn news. Um, uh, the, the good, uh, the good news is that the the graduation party victims, the 18 of them that died, it turns out apparently from preliminary reports, I just found out that they are they're alive. They're, they actually did not die that night. Okay, so that that's the good news. Okay, um, the bad news is they were kidnapped. And uh, the ransom that they want is about um, $18 million. Going on. This graduate, 78000 in debt, will never end. And this young woman, 100000 in debt, moved back home. Something we heard from so many of you. Graduate Ashley Meyer took us into her Dallas bedroom. This is my room. The same bed she slept in before she went to college. The same dresser. The only thing different, the pile of bills. These are some of my lovely student loans. Ashley graduated from UT Austin, about 70000 in debt. She pays $750 a month, which is why she's back with the family dog. That's Daisy. Back with Dad, back with Mom, who, just like she used to, asks her college grad if she'll be home in a decent hour. So we're going to leave them alone and let them watch the game. Leaving them alone, but still living down the hall. One recent survey of this year's college graduates revealed 85% saying they'd be moving back home. 5.9 million young adults, 25 to 34, now live at home, up 25%. speak with Speaker Boehner, and I told him uh, what I've been saying publicly, that I am